Hey there, wrestling fans. It's Michelle from FTW here to talk Total Divas. This week's episode, we find Brie in a little bit of a safety mode, panic mode. She and Brian had had a home invasion a few months back on last season. And she went out to lunch with the girls uh, and was. they started talking about her home invasion and asking her what had they done to make their house safe since the break-in. And well, she realized we didn't do anything. And oh my gosh, what are we gonna do now? So she kind of got into this mode where we have to do everything possible we can to make this better and to make our lives safe. So with that, uh, she tells Brian that maybe she would like to get a gun and uh, he wisely says having a gun is not going to stop somebody coming into our house or checking that scoping out our place and uh, so and then she kind of wanted to get um, some bar barbed wire to uh, or bob wire as she might have called it and then Barbara Water, maybe she called it. I don't know. She had some names for it anyway. So she wanted to get some barbed wire to put up around the house. And she actually was in the process of doing that one day when Daniel came home. And she, he's like, uh, this is crazy. And she's like, you'll be thanking me because you'll be feeling a lot safer. And he's like, all right, to their dog, let's go uh, dig up, a, dig a hole to build a nuclear fallout uh, shelter. And so with that, uh, she decided, Daniel had put up a security system and uh, he said that he would start a neighborhood watch where the neighbors would kind of look out for each other. And so she's like, okay, well, maybe we don't need the barbed wire and maybe we don't need a gun. So uh, they're, they're realistically safe now. And I guess there's going to be no nuclear fallout uh, safety net. Uh, Daniel Bryan has got a... Or, Brian Danielson, whichever you want to call him, uh, has a really dry sense of humor. Uh, I have to laugh at him. He's like one of the funniest guys. Like when he said that to her and he's just going off with the dog, ready to dig a hole. It, he's always very energetic and very dry in his humor. And uh, people may say the Bella twins are dramatic, but I'll tell you they're men uh, between... Brian Danielson and uh, John Cena, they steal the show sometime on Total Divas because they have a great sense of humor. So that's your plug, guys. That's your one plug for me. Oh, in Titus O'Neil. Whenever he is on the show, I have to say he is hilarious. So plug for Titus O'Neil, too. Um... Our next one up is Eva Marie. She uh, got a call to be on Muscle and Fitness for the second time, which is a pretty amazing feat for a wrestler. She is the only diva who has been on a, a fitness magazine and has had interviews. So she has just started to recover from her boob surgery. And uh, she's not feeling the best about herself. She's kind of feeling fat and unhealthy. And so she's kind of does starts to overdo it at the gym, like working out like a mad woman, like just crazed and uh, not eating for days. And uh, kind of when she does eat, just eating a little bit of fruit or whatever, which is a real challenge for uh her because she starts getting weak obviously and starts kind of getting dizzy and not feeling well when she's out shopping with Ariana and it, Ariane's kind of like uh hey this is not cool she really does not have a good self-image and why is this and so she goes and sees Jonathan because she's so concerned and she says well what's even Marie like with you like is she does she say bad things about herself because she's always down on herself and stuff and so Jonathan's like she's always thinking she's fat and she always has to lose weight and stuff so they decide she needs an intervention 
And so Ariane finds this place where this artist does a sketch of Eva Marie and Eva Marie goes in a room and describes to him what she thinks she looks like and he sketches that and then uh, his assistant goes into the room and sees Eva Marie and describes it describes what she looks like and again the artist sketches her and then she's able to see the two perceptions her perception and the reality of what everybody else sees it was a major eye-opener for her she was like of course cried and she realizes that she doesn't always think realistically about herself and that's not going to change overnight but she does see the difference now and she will work on it uh for guys i know you don't get the size for girls but um she's probably perceiving herself as about a size 12 and in reality she's about a size 2 and so with that uh, uh the only way i can explain it to you guys is that if you ha like say wear a 28 jeans you're thinking that you actually look like you're wearing a 38 jeans so that was her perception of herself when we all think she's marvelous what other diva has gone on a fitness magazine so that was Eva Marie and her uh, distorted body image this week uh, also we have uh, Rosa and Paige I can never say those two girls' names without some drama. So, uh, Rosa and Paige and, um, uh, they're, they're BFFs and they're kind of getting, Rose is getting the vibe from Paige that she's into her, like wants to have a relationship with her. And Foxy kind of says to Rosa, you know, Rosa, we're all just friends because the three of them are kind of like the three musketeers, all buddies and good times. And uh, so Foxy kind of says, uh, do you think that you might just be misinterpreting her, her friendly, flirtatious self uh, as something more and she's just being a supportive friend? But uh, Rosa, in her state of mind, decides, hey, this is how I feel. This is what I think she's thinking. So why not see if it's going to happen? So she uh, gives Paige a kiss and Paige is not receptive. <laughs> Imagine. So that was a little bit of a drama with them, uh, for sure, and uh, it took a while for Paige was like, I just want to be your friend, I'm just being supportive, and uh, Rosa is very fragile and very emotional, and so she did get over it. Paige apologized for being so flirtatious, but you know what, in the end, they're friends and they're still flirty, so... So be it. Uh, this week I have to say I'm late because my sister passed away and while she wasn't a wrestler, she was a total diva. So this week's uh, total diva review is in remembrance of my sister Peg. Till next week.